Next, executive summary. Night Cargo Sendiran Berhad is an A cargo company that specializing in the export and import for the dangerous goods. We aim to ensure the maximum level of service for our dangerous cargo client. Objective First, provide service to unserved routes. Second, to satisfying the peak traffic demands. Third, deliver the highest service performance to client. Next, creating educational surrounding to understanding our company scope. Lastly, to enhance the moments of goods during and after COVID-19. The target market of Nike Cargo Sendirian Berhad are large global enterprise and small and medium-sized local enterprise. The marketing strategy adopted by Nike Cargo Sendirian Berhad will be mainly driven by quality customer service and complex dangerous goods logistic service. Assalamualaikum everyone. I am Muhammad Abdul Jalil Hayani. My metric number is 249884. I'm gonna be explaining explaining about marketing strategy for Nine Cargo Company, which is specialized in, in airport cargo. Marketing strategy: excellent customer service, honesty, and quality service delivery. Our goal is to grow Nine Cargo. To become the leading air cargo service company in all around the world. SWOT analysis strengths. Nine Cargo has established itself as high quality, reliable air cargo carrier. Nine Cargo proven expertise means it can handle all kinds of cargo and more specialists on dangerous gold cargo treats there are many other all ca cargo carriers operating similar to ser similar service to nine cargo opportunity after years of stagnation the air freight market is forecasted to expand the weaknesses Nine Cargo maybe will face over capacity, slow adoption of new technologies, and lack of relationship with end customers. Next, business location. The headquarters of Nine Cargo Sendiran Berhad is located in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. KLIA2 is a main operation hub to import, export, and transfer the dangerous goods to final customer. The company operate in every international airport in Malaysia, which providing service to local and global area. Lastly, the company will open branches in Penang, Johor Bahru, and Kuching to ensure that all goods can be delivered on time, safely, and flexible. My name is Sir Chee, metric number two five four seven one four one. Now I will present about the financial plan for Nike Cargo and Jabberhead. Self so forecasting for Nine Cargo Sun in year 2020 is 366,000, and the sale estimate will go 50% in the first year and go 25% for the following years. This is a self forecasting for Nine Cargo Sun in five years. This is the profit and loss for Nine Cargo Sun for the year ended 2020. This is the profit and loss for the year ended 2021 to 2024, Nine Cargo Sun this is the financial position for the year ended 2020. This is the financial position for the year ended 2021 until 2024, Nine Cargo Sun Jabberhat. This is the cash flow statement for the year ended 2020, Nine Cargo Sun Jabberhat. And this is the financial statement for the year ended 2021 until 2024, Nine Cargo Sun Jabberhat. That's all. Thank you. So I will explain about the games and gamification of Nine Cargo Sinambraha. So as we all know that Nine Cargo Sinambraha is a company that established that uh, operate to handle the air cargo. So for the games and gamification, uh, we create a digital game for the use of staff and community. So the objective of this game is to provide an ongoing training for community and staff. Second is expanding the business network 
factor is identifying the business potential. So, why we make this game? Because uh, this digital game will adequate, will give a uh, skill training for the development for staff, the guideline for handling dangerous goods and cargo. Furthermore, it reduces the workplace incident because we have a practicality in this digital games. So this digital game also expanding the business of our air cargo. So lastly, it improves the internal communication in the company. So that's all from me. Thank you. Yo, my name is Muhammad Zikri Hana, Muhammad Yusuf, and my metric number is 255331. So I'm about to tell you how the gamification works. Firstly, you need to choose your, your job scope. Uh, either you play as operation or management. Second, uh, you're choosing your name. For staff, you need to use your staff ID to play the games. Uh, for backstory, it will tell you on how the situation on the cargo airport. And number four, demonstrating on how to play the games. It will show you on how to control your character. And for the first mission, uh, you need to do the first mission in the time frame given uh, or you will lose the mission and redo it back. So after you finish the mission, uh, the first mission, yeah, you will be getting a bonus. And after that, you will do a second mission and onwards. Uh, that is much harder than the first mission. <laughs> Duration of the games. It may take as long as the company desire as there is continuous game to complete. This game is on mobile phone application, so the user can open up the game if they want to play. Uh, if you want to continue playing, as the mission continues, the level will be much harder than the previous mission. Uh, for the number of player, uh, in the, in this meantime, it's only one person that can play the games. In the future, we may improving the games to get real life feel and may playable with lots of player.